Welcome to Graham Games. My name is Graham. This is a game. Today I'm playing the upcoming William and Sly. This is a demo. The full game is coming this spring. Uh, we don't have a, a precise release date in mind. It's being made by Lucas Pock following up the original two William and Sly Flash games, 2D platformers from way back when, and now a fully fledged 3D sequel. Very excited to have a public demo out there so people can start playing around with it. I'm going in fresh. I've played quite a bit of the game, but, you know, now I'll, I'll take a step back and, and relive things through the eyes of a, a demo build. So I really love the way that it follows up directly after the ending of William and Slide 2. Hmm, is it one or two? One of the games ends with Sly just, like, sleeping in bed. He just loves to chill in there. A great place for him. And so it, it's fun. I really like the way that he wakes up there and immediately goes to check in on William, which... Uh, apparently, over the course of the series, has increasingly been made to look like Lucas Pock, the creator of the series. Kind of a, a little bit of a self-insert. Not intentionally how it started, but where it ended up. And uh, are Lucas and I, like, twins? Like, basically me and the game here, which is kind of weird. Hey, buddy. How was your nap? Oh, I have a, a very sticky keys on my, uh, on my controller here. The cabin moved while you were sleeping. We're by the ocean now. This is a strange place we've come to, though. There's this empty feeling to everything, like pieces of the world are missing. When I was out exploring, I saw a bunch of mysterious stone pillars. I think they have something to do with it. Here, take this blue essence with you. <laughs> kind of like the little gentle way he does that. One of the pillars is right outside the cabin, and this should help you get rid of it. You'll just need to find some blue rhubarb. I also made a map while I was surveying. Can foxes even read maps? I bet you'll just eat it. Anyway, I'm sure you're eager to go mushroom hunting, but could you get rid of those pillars while you're at it? This place will feel much better without them. And the game launches you out. This stone is cursed with an incantation. With the blue essence of sumac, rhubarb, and rose, I bind these mushrooms to me. And it lets you know how to jump. That's the main button that I'm, I'm kind of concerned with. Seems to be sticking quite badly. Uh, and then you can run around. And I really... Uh, so this is specifically a tutorial thing. Sly smells some rhubarb nearby. Follow the scent marker to find it. So these blue versions of things that you'll find around the environment are what you need to dispel these towers. So you find the blue essence of rhubarb, you can unlock artifacts with blue essences, but you can only manifest four types at a time. Would you like to distill the magic from this object? So, a, a interesting thing that this game does is it takes combinations of three essences to dispel a tower, but you can hold four at once. So you can, you kind of have a little bit of freedom to, if you stumble across something that you hadn't previously found, then you could grab it up and kind of stash it for later use. The spell crafted a beam of destruction. So as soon as you have a completed kind of alchemical combination needed, you can run off towards one of those pillars and dispel it. And you get a nice serving of mushrooms out of that. Apparently there's 86 in the demo. The full game has something like 400. The mushroom spores glow brightly on the breeze. See if you can find more. I, I actually kind of want to stick my head back in the cabin. Because I saw some glowy lights in here, but I think it was actually just the light. Yeah, I, I don't think you can actually get a mushroom from within the cabin. But it is kind of fun just to explore and see what all you've got going on in here, William. Do you want to... Do you, will, will you chat again if I just come up to you? I saw some stone structures around that looked like they might be primitive temples. I don't see anything about them in my books, though. Uh, so that, that's, I, I don't even think a quest or anything. That's just a totally separate thing that you can go out and do. The more you explore the world, the more you're, you're going to find. Uh, let's see, can I have my mouse on screen here? Yeah, so right now there's kind of an invisible barrier uh, blocking off a certain demo area. But there there's like a, a lake. There's a, a swamp somewhere over here. There's really mountainous stuff. There's like a volcano area, a cave system, a, a forest beach there's all sorts of different areas you can go through and it's tracking the essences you're currently holding and this is a really handy little thing you can move around on the map and then it'll put a marker on there for you so you can always 
uh, put a put a custom waypoint for yourself wherever you want to head next. I'm gonna put that away, and it clears clears the marker for us. All these sparkles that we're seeing on the wind here are a way for you to see where mushrooms are at a distance. You know, they're they're quite small. They're teeny tiny little things. So it would be quite easy to to blow past them. And so it's it's just a good thing to keep an eye out from a distance. I could see sparkles floating up from underneath and there was no mushroom there. And so I'm just clearing away that prompt. Uh, we know that there's something underneath. We found our first little mushroomy area. I actually don't know what that, that blue ground is. <laughs> I don't know what that's supposed to represent. Uh, I, can, I can see more stuff off it. Like, it's it's so easy just for distraction in this game to just, oh, that's pretty. Oh, cool. What's that over there? Oh, I, I definitely want to go check out that next. And it ends up being, like, entirely what drives how I run around in this game is just, like, whatever pretty looking thing I saw. Or you see a couple sparkles on the breeze there's no health no fall damage nothing like that you're you're totally free to just go running around this world pretty pretty recklessly <laughs> and you're you're very nimble you're agile so you can kind of just float and fly your way through things uh, we've encountered the enchantress for having the first 10 mushrooms how interesting to encounter another mind out here in the wilderness you're just a fox. That's strange. Why are you eating my mushrooms, vermin? If you don't stop, I'll have to take action against you. Consider yourself lucky with a warning and scurry away. I love the way the, that that's done through the leaves and the way it kind of breaks up at the end there. I, I just think the visual effect is really well done and just it just looks quite pretty. Uh, man, it, it, there must be like a whole cave network under here oh there there's one there is a mushroom in those trees let me back it up a little bit mm, there's still a few sparks no maybe those were lingering from the mushroom i just collected so yeah i think that one is scratched off now it's just where where do i head next <laughs> all right I, I i see i see more off in the forest here i'm not sure about all those trees off to the right These, these giant trees, it's a little easier to spot the mushrooms tucked under. Uh, I think, I feel like pears, maybe triplets are quite common. I, I think that was probably everything there. So next up, I might close a couple things. I think I, the, the game is stuttering ever so slightly in a way it normally doesn't. Uh, maybe that'll be noticeable. I hope it helps things along in even just a small way. This is this is tough. There's there's so many <laughs> options. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna strike out and see what I can find. There's clearly some down inside of the sunflowers here. There's one at least. Uh, am I playing with the close camera? I'm not playing with close camera, but that is an option. You can maybe maybe I want the zoom or uh, V sync on. But yeah, it, you can just have the camera kind of sit closer to Sly. Uh, just very much a, a personal preference thing. Was that one mushroom among the sunflowers it? I also thought there was maybe a blue sunflower essence. There it is. That's what I'm looking for. Would you like to dispel it? Yep. So now we have that one added. The sunflower comes back, I think. It's not like you can only grab it the, the one time. So that'll be back available for us uh, the next time we need to grab it. So you kind of have to have a little bit of a mental map in place to know roughly where you need to be coming back to. Uh, I'm, I'm going to put myself a marker so I don't <laughs> get spun around trying to make my way to the next pillar. Uh, but before I do that... I'm seeing uh, I probably didn't get everything next to the sunflowers. Well, I tried being nice. I suppose I could turn you into a pillar. Not that I need any more. Let's see. Okay, yeah, just kind of cast like an ice magic on me or something. A little ice to cool your spirits. <laughs> I'm funny today. Okay. Blast your way out of there, little sly. Come on, you can shake it off. <laughs> there it is. 
is. Come on, squiggle out. There we go. Good work, buddy. <laughs> you, you little troublemaker. <laughs> maybe, maybe she has a point. You're just taking everything for yourself, aren't you? I, I quite like this little rock formation. I kind of just want to like crawl around in and around it. Ooh, I really like the way the, the grass kind of like pushes out of the way. I, I, I thought maybe there would be um one hidden down in, in the little windy little bits of rock there. These rocks have some more of their own. And okay, there's at least one more still stashed in these rocks. over what how did you escape you're gonna be more trouble than you're worth I can already tell well I think I'm worth quite a lot so we'll see about that I can see more sparkles in the distance I think it's I think it's beyond the sunflowers so I'm not gonna make that an immediate uh, focus for myself what is what is that little creature in the bottom right there it's a very very strange <laughs> Lucas just playing around with some uh, fantasy designs of some kind I swear I swear I saw some some of those glowy spores yeah okay there still is some among these rocks okay there's at least that one maybe get a, a higher vantage point and, and take another little like scan around okay that that I think is is that over by the bushes or is it just like right there it might be right there Yep. <laughs> okay, it's just tucked right in. So it you, there's like a very much a collectathon element to things where you have to go around and really survey things quite thoroughly and, and try to not overlook any of the hidden little bits that are around. But the the spores are like a pretty major assist. It, it goes a long, long ways. There's also the, the smoke coming up from the cabin, so there's a way for you to always find your way back to the cabin. I keep using the wrong uh, wrong hotkey. I'm not sure what that's all about. It would it would maybe be nice if the cabin was on your map too, but you kind of you kind of know it's like in the dead center. <laughs> oh man, there's still there's still another one here. I'm I'm, I'm blowing my jumps. I've loosened up the button. Hopefully it's a little bit more reliable. <laughs> okay. I'm just not choosing the best way up. You can really climb some quite sheer faces in this game, but it can't be totally vertical. There we go. I think I've cleaned them all up around those rocks there. Now we can go check out this uh, pillar and see what essences we need. The stone is cursed with an incantation, but the essence of cave moss, rose, and eelgrass... I bind these ugly weeds to me. Cave moss, rose, and eelgrass. Dang. So none of what I have currently. Uh, it, it does mark it on your map so you at least know you have it held for you in a sense. Like you know that that's what you will have to bring back to it. And now it's just kind of a matter of going out and exploring and, and seeing where those things are. Uh, I, I think I know where eelgrass is. And cave moss, I mean, I can take a guess, but I, I am pretty uncertain where the caves are. <laughs> I, I'm like, I know it will be in a cave. Now I just got to find a cave. The, the sunflower one is distinctly quite hard to find just because, well, once you find the big patch of sunflowers, you're in, you're in better shape. But it's, it's one little blue one hidden amongst all the yellow. Uh, I find it a little easier to find some of them uh, from a distance. So that's uh, a boundary that you just straight up can't cross for the demo. Uh, I like the kind of effect that was put into place there. So you can still see way off in the distance. Uh, and it's just kind of this subtle little magical line. Uh, so I, I guess I kind of might as well trace that outline a little bit. There is another tower there is that a tower it might just be its own little like interactable area i'm not actually certain if it itself is uh, another tower but just a cool little like secret to explore and discover i'm kind of tracing the boundaries of the demo for myself here so i kind of know where to look 
with N. Oh, I conjured up a little surprise for you. If you can't imprison, if I can't imprison you from the void, perhaps a bit of the void can do it for me. So I can see there's something on the other side there. I, I'm not sure precisely which essence that is, but it's not something I need right now. So I, I can leave that alone. But that you can see that that itself is already like a little bit easier at least to see than than some of the other ones. Oh, oh, I found the blue essence of fern, which I guess I'm going to grab because it won't really matter. <laughs> Uh, it, it'll be worth having. It, it's not stopping me from getting those other things, and it might be required for what I believe is the second of two towers available in the demo. So I, I want to have that option available for myself. So I'm going to keep running around in the forest here. I will trace kind of the boundaries of the map, and I'll chime back in as I find interesting new things to show. Other than just the gorgeous landscape, which is just... I love it. I love taking that in and just, it's just beautiful, really. Uh, and now I have a mushroom out there I want to go look after. <laughs> but I, I, I figure if you guys want to, you can easily hop into the demo for yourself. It's free, it's public, and you can explore the, the boundaries and the landscape more thoroughly and see what fun little things there are to discover hidden around and to also just really soak it all in. Take in the, the cozy natural wonders for yourself. I'm just going to keep being a uh, same old mushroom fiend, gobbling up whatever I can find wherever it's available. Tiny little, little trees. I like that little mini forest that's going on there. I also really like basically any time you can get a high vantage point. It's just great for surveying the area and seeing everything, but also much, much easier to identify those spores from a distance when you can kind of stand up above them and see where they're sprinkling up from. Sprinkling up is strange. Things usually sprinkle down. That's more common, I think. Oh yeah, I'm not sure if that is all sunflowers. It might be, <laughs> in which case, uh, sunflowers, maybe not so hard to find because that is just like a trillion of them all clustered together here. Uh, and I think, I think any time there is s sumac or sunflowers or rhubarb or whatever it is you're looking for, uh, if you can ever find them, then somewhere in them there will be a blue version of them. So you, you can always rely on that. Uh, it would just be a matter of kind of exploring this this big crop of sunflowers and and finding that within there <laughs> you have quite a few to dig through it's uh there's a lot i keep doing that i don't know why my why i keep defaulting to the the wrong button for bringing up the map uh i get, maybe it was different on a previous build the those two menus the map and the other menu used to exist as one now they've been separated so i think that's part of it is that it, you used to be able to look at the map with select now it's start specific there's many more mushrooms hidden in this ginormous patch of sunflowers than there was in that teeny tiny one, which makes sense. So I'm going to try and comb around in those. Mm, maybe, maybe finding 100%. You can see I just ran past a blue essence there. Maybe 100%ing the demo is, is a reasonable goal for this video. <laughs> I, I kind of thought, like, it's too much. It's going to take hours. It's crazy. Uh, but uh, it's uh, making pretty good time. Decent time. I'm, I'm driving myself crazy with that. I, I really, I kind of just want to go take a look at this dam, actually. I just like that. I think it's just neat. <laughs> I like to picture the busy little beavers. Well, I guess that wasn't really a dam. That looks more just like a blockage of, of debris, maybe, than anything that was properly engineered. Okay, we're back up to the edge. Okay, that, you, you can have a pretty generous look around the game through the demo, but I, I think it's going to be confined to pff, an, uh, somewhere between like an eighth and a, maybe a sixth of the total map. Uh, and it, I, it'll only be whatever, uh, a fifth approximately of the mushrooms you can find and something like a fifth of the total towers 
to bring down as well. So the demo was fairly generous. It, it was quite a difficult thing to come up with. Where do you draw the lines for a demo in an open world game? <laughs> uh, but I, I think Lucas had some good ideas. So this is actually something that when the Enchantress first last talked to me about bringing the void to me, that's what she was referring to. Every now and again now, those guys will come and pester you. You don't have health. They don't have health. There's very little uh, that they can actually do to, like, ruin whatever you're up to. They're kind of just, like, bothersome, but in a really minute way, and you kind of just bash them away like you would hitting a volleyball. <laughs> it even has a sound effect that makes me think a little bit of, of volleyballs. Uh, so that's all that is, and it's just, like, a fun little interaction that you can have and... and an interesting way to kind of build up the the fantasy elements of the the world at hand here. Uh, so yeah, that's all that those are, and they're just kind of kind of a neat little add-on for you to mess around with. Uh, I'll, I'll hopefully find one while I'm somewhere up high because there's these really fun. You can like really get going super high by chaining together your little attacks with them, kind of juggling things up higher and higher. We have a little bit of our own Stonehenge here. Oh yeah, Mickey Mouse is uh, public domain now, so you can do things like this. It's obviously what that's meant to be. An inscription on the stone. With the blue essence of sunflower, starfish, and rhubarb, we summon fairy flies from the deep woods. So, that that is my second tower to work towards. I... what do I currently have? I have sunflower. So, starfish and rhubarb. I'll have to go seeking out rhubarb. I kind of think I know where I would need to go for, for starfish. Um, so, I'm, I'm going to finish my map tracing. Uh, really playing the cartographer in, in this this demo here. Uh, and, and William doesn't even think we could read a map. Look at how, how well we're doing filling all that in. He's misjudged us. He's, uh, we can run into him out in the world. I, I obviously don't know where he is at all times, but I'm sure he's kicking around somewhere. He, he kind of goes out and just researches things. You'll just find him like with a pen and pad, crouched over something, just like making some casual observations, which is always kind of fun to see. Warms my biologist's heart. I'm making some big, big leaps to this mushroom way off. You can hop around in the trees, which is something that carries over from the original William and Sly. You could, it, it kind of, I don't know, made more sense in a 2D platformer, even though it never made sense and continues not to. But it, it is fun, and I'm glad that it persisted. Uh, so yeah, just try not to think too hard about it. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, I, I want to push back out. I, I feel like I'm checking my map quite often because I want to just make sure I'm uh, sticking to the outer rim there a little bit. Uh, but really, once you get going in the game and you're kind of just freely exploring and chasing whatever interesting new lead you come across next, I, I almost don't need the map because the fun part of the game is just exploring and like, what are you going to find next? Like, for example, a little bit of rhubarb. So, we are now uh, Sunflower and Rhubarb towards that one. And so, Starfish is a part of that one as well. So, I, I only need one more Essence. And I, I kind of... I looks like I don't need the Fern at all. The Fern was kind of a waste of discovery. Oh, do you know what? Um, shoot, I wonder if I can't make it to the beach. Maybe I can't get the Starfish. So, I, I, I might be limited on that one. I, I'm, I'm not perfectly confident in which essences are available to you in the demo. I've only done some light testing of it. Mostly I've stuck to the the full game. I love this area that has these gorgeous pink like wildflowers everywhere. I just think it's it's beautiful. I'm a big fan. I like it a lot. I have to have to go run off to to grab up whatever I'm seeing here. Now that it's revealed itself to me, I need it. 
There we go. Yummy, yummy. Good stuff. I assume Sly's eating them. Maybe maybe he's a forward thinker and he stashes them away for, for later. I can see something else there. It might actually just be Rhubarb again. I think it is. Uh, it's kind of funny that there's like these separate patches and I'm just finding more of the same. It's totally all it is. So instead, this is exactly what I was talking about. William is hanging out in the wild here researching things. One of these rhubarb plants was glowing earlier, but now I can't find it. Well, maybe you're not observant as I gave you credit for it, because it's glowing like a beacon 20 feet behind you. Should be within eyesight. Look, look closely, William. I'm sure you'll find it. Oh, of course. Of course there's one up at the top of this hill here. I need, I need to climb. I need to grab it up. No, 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 don't slip your way down. <laughs> I, like a like a true mountain goat. And now we just have this awesome like vantage point to look at things from. Mm, I just love being up high in this game. So now I see on that peak, oh, I was kind of going to try to chain together some, some tree hopping. Ah, it didn't work out at all. I do love the colors though. Just really great kind of autumn colors for the deciduous trees there. Heading up towards the the rainbow. Oh, okay, mushroom claimed and one more tower that I think should be within the demo limits. I love just bombing my way from way up high. The stone is cursed. Sumac, rhubarb and fur. Okay, I bind these gourds to me. <laughs> okay, so that one I know. I know I can do within the demo. I just need to recall where to find Sumac. So I'm, I'm going to head back out towards the perimeter. Trace that out for myself. You, you get lost. <laughs> See, so if you're already airborne and you tackle them, you can kind of chain together these like double jumps. I, and so that's fun to mess around with, but I'm, I'm just on flat ground right now. So it wasn't really going to lead to anything super interesting. Okay, perfect. I, I think Lucas did a really great job of carving out uh, a nice generous area for people to explore and showing a nice range of what sort of environments are available while actually still blocking off entire biomes and ecosystems that exist in this uh, this game like we're not even remotely touching the ice fields or anything which i think are just gorgeous oh okay i found the rose which is uh something else i need but i honestly don't know if i can get cave moss eelgrass is the one i'm doubting the most but i have a space for it so in the meantime i will be adding rose to my essences just in case kind of trying to make a bit of a mental map for where that is uh and you can also see the game is tracking the number of mushrooms you found in each area so there's 10 left to find at the mountain's foot 18 for the plateau one for the woods i did a quite a good job with the woods apparently uh but yeah that's that's just a, another little quality of life feature to kind of help you have some sense when you've got to go out looking for hundreds of mushrooms it's, it's really nice to have. <laughs> Ooh, here I'm getting messed up with in the trees. I'm trying to, I, I can climb the trees on my own anyways. What I was trying to do, what I was hoping to do is make it to the top of the trees and then start kicking them around from there <clears throat> to really get myself just like a mile up in the air. I was also, <clears throat> just, I'm losing my voice a little bit. That looked like it was like a, a blood moon or something. It was interesting. I wanted to follow up on that further. I am effectively, I, I think I've now explored every, you know, corner of the demo. It's more or less circular, so it's not very accurate. Oh, I, I'm not, I'm not chaining the jumps together very well. I have one tent blame the sticky jump button on this controller. It, it's been a minute since the Enchantress has uh, been upset with me for, for claiming all of her mushrooms. I haven't really let up. I've been grabbing them up left and right. But the frequency with which she comes and checks in on you does ease up. Okay, I, I was starting to think, holy cow, I'm, I'm 
free and clear. I'm, 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 I can go anywhere. There's no stopping me. I've, I've escaped the boundaries of the demo. Uh, and then quite immediately <laughs> ran into the wall again. So that should be all of the towers I have access to. That's, that's what I've already seen. You know what? I will head off towards the woods though. And I'm going to go hunting very specifically for that one lonesome mushroom. It'll be a pain. It'll be a pain if it technically falls on the wrong side of, of the boundary. And it just is a lone one haunting me. That's fine. You can get it with the full release. But I want it now. I don't want to be left with a lingering feeling of inadequacy and incompleteness maybe that's a little bit of personal projecting but i think i think everyone would judge me super duper hard wouldn't you <laughs> all right there we go that's what i want tip top as close as we can get all right well these trees are taller <laughs> oh no dang I, I i ended up falling a bunch all right hug nice and close from up here. Oh, are you kidding me? It's like literally right down there. That's got to be the one. Um, I, I kind of just want to try to look around for any other spores. That's like got to be it. <laughs> so easy to miss, but also it's very generous with how it's designed to help you find it. So there, that one is taken care of. Let's see if we can find either sumac. You know what? I don't think we can do starfish. Well, I must be wrong. You must be able to up by the forest? Let let me make use of this, actually. I'm going to cut my way kind of straight through things. I'm going to... Because I, I really was going through the edge before. So hopefully straight through is where I'll find a lot of what I previously missed. That's my thinking, at least. And that's the, the beauty of the, the waypoint. Ooh, William's nearby again. I really do love checking in with that guy. We're just we're just the best buds. I want to know what he what he's got going on in his life. You know, <laughs> I don't I don't have many other people to talk to apparently. Where'd you go, bud? Oh, what is what is this? <gasps> My first cave. Oh no no no! I didn't expect that mushroom to be like on that ledge like that. Oh no! That's gonna be really, really tough. Maybe I can jump up to there from here. I, if I've ever been in here before, which I think I have, I've, I've never come down to it through that way before. That was fun. This is called cave moss, but it's actually a type of mold. It has such thick mycelium and it's so soft and fluffy. I think I might take a nap here. I love hanging out in like swampy areas and just doing like a drop onto the moss and it just catches you. It's like softer than a bed. It's just generally fun. So cave moss and rose. I can have both of those, but I don't know if I can find eelgrass. <laughs> so I kind of don't want to replace it just yet until I know for sure that I can also get eelgrass. Ugh. I might have to go back outside and above to try and get up to that. That's a, uh, one of the very few mushrooms where there's like a, a little bit of skill needed to really acquire it. <gasps> yes, yes. I wasn't sure. There, there's a couple different caves in, in this. I, I wasn't sure if this would be one of the ones that has the really awesome like giant mushrooms in it. Uh, so it's just a, a gorgeous like fantastical environment in this game that I really like and I'm, and I'm excited to be able to show off. I thought there would be more mushrooms down in this. Uh, a very cool little ice area. And this isn't even the ice fields. This is like it's it's separate thing here. So there's, there's that still to look forward to. There's cave moss. So I, I would be able to distill that essence and have that available to me. Maybe Lucas uh, removed these mushrooms specifically for the demo. I got such an itchy nose. Uh, down in the water? Because you can swim. You're a pretty good little swimmer for a fox. Might not be what they're most commonly <laughs> known for, but Sly's, Sly's got it figured out. Oh, yeah. Well, if I can go into a, a wet area, there it is. There's eelgrass. 
and I already have the rose. Okay, so <laughs> this is not the path I expected to take here. But uh, now I know where these two things are. This, this is the right call to make. So I do want to distill it. I don't think I need the fern. I think the fern is not needed, so I will replace that one. Let's just stick our stick our head out briefly. Just to show off some of the, the cool wetland area. I bet there are mushrooms about. Hmm. Not right away that I'm seeing. I'm gonna head back into our little cave hole. <laughs> Grab up that cave moss. I can immediately take out that tower. Now reevaluate from there. I think the sunflowers are probably a little easier to find <laughs> because you can spot them from so far away. So I'm, I'm actually gonna overwrite the rhubarb. Cave moss, rose, eelgrass. Rose, eelgrass, cave moss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The spell is charging. And so now that one is completed, it immediately creates the availability for you to start building your next spell. Uh, and I can start following that immediately. Uh, one thing, I, I'm just going to get that off there. I don't need it currently. But I don't want to leave the cave just yet. I just want to have a quick minute to explore the corners and see if there are still mushrooms down here. I'm surprised there aren't. Normally there would be. There's a handful of little, like, side tunnels down here, so there's quite a good little bit of exploring to be done. Ah, uh, there we go. Here's what I was picturing. So I, I love that the, the mushrooms are still the same color, or, like, effectively. They're orange and bioluminescent and, and throwing out colorful, shiny spores, uh, regardless of size. I guess the spores is unique to the little ones, but you know what I'm saying. They match. There's... There's a, a shared design there that I appreciate. That seems kind of tough to get up to. Maybe I gotta jump up from mushroom to ledge. There it is. That's how you get there. Oh, there's a bunch. And across. Oh, yeah, I can see one here, but I think there's also back a second. A second slash a, a meter <laughs> kind of measuring distance and time is weird that I think is all of them anyway I can make my way back out of the cave try to get above it and drop back down to grab that one I missed I just took a tiny little side I don't even know what to call it little water tunnel and it actually kind of took me somewhere I, I don't think I've seen before. Okay, great. That that was a that was a tough one to find. One, just getting to this little side bit of the cave was a little bit tough. And then, you know, have that kind of hidden in the corner like that. Very intriguing. And just like satisfying to have have found and navigated. Holy, now another little tunnel that I haven't really seen before. Wow. Okay. That was cool. I love the caves. The the hanging around, spelunking in the caves. It's like genuinely some of my favorite parts of this game. Uh, so that was that was great. Glad to have shown that off. Now hopefully, I can see some spores coming up from under us again. I kind of I kind of think I need to get up high in the trees to monitor where some spores might be coming from again in this little area. Because I really should have, I don't know, marked the map or something with that entrance point. Okay. There's some over there. What are the odds that's its totally separate own thing versus the way into that cave again? I think this is a separate mushroom, probably. No, it is under us. This is totally the one. This is the one. Can I yeah, get the camera pointed exactly how I want? I don't want to screw it up a second time. I, I do you know what? This is, uh, I'll mark that for myself so I kind of know to come back to here. 
Wow, that's like that's like notably not where I'm at. Hmm, that that makes me question a little bit which part of the marker is m marking the the map or where how that exists relative to myself. Come on, little mushroom. I'm just going to jump. Ah, I missed it so slightly. Damn it. <laughs> hmm, there are sparkles coming from seemingly deeper down in the cave still though so that makes me think i was gonna have to come back down into here regardless where did that go dang that's really really hard to trace oh nope there it is <laughs> two of them okay yeah glad glad i came back oh this just looks cool i just kind of wanted to go swim around in here oh and this is also yet again uh, a way into a, a cave. Maybe maybe not the cave I've already been in. Uh, oh god. And then I, I, then I feel like there was a, a upper path and a lower path. Like I can go down through there or up here. Hmm. I'm not really seeing a glowy anything coming out of here. So I, I don't think that's... I don't think I need to revisit any of that for the sake of any mushrooms yeah seemingly not look how far away I ended up from that other cave entrance I, I I guess I will see how near that actually is to the cave entrance I actually am trying to get to uh, I, I maybe still need to get a little used to how those are marked on the map oh uh, I could grab rhubarb uh, since I'm since I'm walking through a patch of it anyways, I should be able to add it uh, since I've already Got the next spell ready to go. So it, it kind of cleared out the space needed So there's the rhubarb everywhere, but I'm actually not seeing Any essence of rhubarb so I, I could have been I could have been wrong about that Here's where I've marked on the map not really where I'd want to be <laughs> so I'm, I'm not totally certain. It, it's, it works really well off in the distance. Maybe it needs a little tweaking in how, how things are marked at, at a shorter distance. I, I think I'm looking at rhubarb right there. It might actually be like the tutorial rhubarb. Don't care. I'm, I'm claiming it. <laughs> so let's get that added. Oh, I, I'm seeing glowing things everywhere all of a sudden. So I'm, I'm, I don't know. Do I give up on trying to refine that cave entrance for a minute? Ah, I got to be able to find it. It's, it's got to be near. I, I feel like I know it's in this area, and I know that it's slightly up, like a little, little hill. I got to try. Got to try one more time. Okay, yeah. There's, there's the marker right there, and that is where I'm trying to head. Uh, so. Let's see. Can I can I get it closer? Oh, I don't know anymore. Here is this more where I'm. I need to get. That's closer. That's way closer to where I actually think that this entrance is. Yeah. So I, I'm. I've basically done it. Okay. Yeah. Directly in front of the little Sly's face on the map. There. It, it works. All right. I think I. I think I need to commit. Ah! No! 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 I can't believe I just botched that again. So the first time I messed that up, you know, like, how could I have known? I was jumping in blind. The second time, I was suspicious that I was pointing a little too far to the right. The third time, I should have known better. That was bad. <laughs> so, at least it's marked off properly this time, as intended. Uh, and so I think I need to point myself more like this. No, how is that wrong again? <laughs> I I keep leaving the cave a different way. I haven't even found like a go-to fastest route to be able to get out and back to this point again. I kind of just I I know a couple ways out, but I I don't know which is fastest, so I kind of I'm just randomly running my way through and out of there every time. I I got back here pretty quickly this time. Oh, I didn't mean to. Ah! Ah! Okay, that was, I knew I was more or less pointed the way I needed to, but I didn't mean to make the jump right that second. I, I'm kind of just lucky that that worked out. Oh, you're kidding me. There is such an immediate, easy way out of there that I have not taken. That's, uh, 
kind of comical how simple that was, really. One thing that I don't know, actually, is if you have two spells prepared at the same time. Because now I have Sunflower, Rhubarb. Oh, I already have Sunflower, so it's, it's not like I would be grabbing Sunflower for the first time now. I thought I was potentially a Sunflower away from having my next spell ready to go. So, while, while I'm here, uh, I will deal with this little void guy. I will not avoid him. I will confront. F face on. Head on. Either one. Oh, Sumac. Uh, I do. I need Sumac for one of them, don't I? Sumac, Rhubarb, and Fern. I think it's the Starfish one. The Starfish one I'm not going to be able to deal with. Uh, so anyways, mental note to myself. Sumac right by the plateau. Do you know what? Maybe I'll mark it. I'll just mark that that's where I need to go. And... Is that... Yeah, that mark, that mark is where I, I want it to be. Great. Uh, I will follow my nose, I guess, for the, the spell that I had crafted previously. I should get something like five mushrooms from that, five from dispelling the other one, and then there should just be a lone handful more mushrooms laying around in the environment for me to find. But I, I'm pleased with the progress here. I'm, I'm about an hour into the demo, uh, and I haven't even 100%ed things yet, so I, I think it's a really generous size demo and I think it gives a good impression of like how much game there is here because the goals are so self-driven and and just like the satisfaction of checking off the collectathon elements maybe some people you know won't really won't really be feeling it but I, I hope that through the demo you would get a good sense of that and now I've unlocked my first mini game which is fun to show off no what stop this at once you beastly little fox you can cast spells this is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> That's you just vaguely upset for for a minute. Uh, so probably like the the mini games are like there's not really anything told to you of what you need to do, uh, and usually they're pretty straightforward. So I'm going to assume I I actually don't think I've done the dandelion one before, which is funny that one of the few things in this game I haven't completed happens to be in the demos. This is this is new to me. Ah. Uh, it drives me crazy to think of causing, intentionally causing dandelions to spread so far. What do I do? Hate this wonderful valley? <laughs> but uh, presumably I just need to be shaking loose as many of these as possible. Uh, I don't think I'm even on a timer or anything. It's just kind of the enjoyment of scattering them all to the wind. And once I've done all, or probably most, is when I should get the little reward for it. Dastardly little plants. There we go. There is now the blue essence of a dandelion, which for these towers specifically, I do not need. It's not actually a thing. Oh, th this uh, tower created dandelions the way this one created mushrooms. So it's actually... There, there were no mushrooms to be gained from doing that, so I'm not quite as near the end as I thought I was. But yeah, uh, a mini game is maybe a loose description for that one, since all you're kind of doing is just trying to spread around the, the flowers as much as possible. But some of the other ones are a little bit more mini game esque, but generally they're quite simple like that. It's just meant to be like a little interactable thing to generate a new resource for yourself so you can start knocking down even more towers. Uh, I, I just stepped on top of a fern. You know what? Yeah, add it. <laughs> I need it for that one anyways. Yeah, so when I run over towards the sumac, which I marked on my map, that was dumb luck. That was such dumb luck to literally run through a fern just there. But that's perfect. Uh, and then I assume I can't do the other one. I'm fairly confident, confident Lucas had said the idea is for the demo to have two. So that, I think, would be the end of that. So let me go grab my sumac, knock down that tower. We should have another little mini game to play with. Oh, this looks like a fairy circle. It doesn't seem to be active. Uh, which, once those have been added, are potentially, like, teleportation points. But you can, you can see it's on the map now. 
There, there's a couple things. There's also these like plants that you can interact with that are not uh, existing anywhere in the demo, it doesn't seem like. I, I think there was some smart choices made on what sort of things to exclude from the demo so that the full game feels even bigger and, and more exciting even when you're running through areas you've potentially already seen through the demo. So you can see the little glowy bud on there. Add that one. Sumac completed. A new spell is charging. But I also see some floating spores. At least I saw it. There they are. Tucked down in the little recess there. Uh, ooh, I was going to stand on top of there, but I see an even better looking spot for myself. It's kind of fun to mess around with these little creatures of the the forest of, of nature. I guess they're of the void, so maybe neither of those is all that accurate. So there, a nice clear vantage point there, but you know I have my guiding light for that. Anyways, mostly what I want, I'm blowing it a little bit, is to be up at the top to look for spores. Scan around. Way off that direction. Is that the is that the only ones I can see from up here? That's a little bit surprising. I I there's there's some more. There's some more. Um let's start with that one. It's funny. I'm actually heading back towards the cabin. This is something from like way back when first booting up the game that I'm suddenly uh, going to be running past. And you know what, if, if uh, in the off chance I do get a hold of a starfish, I don't think I will, but I might as well add that to my essences so I, so I have it available. <laughs> Another one of those little void guys. Cruising. Oh, he scoped me out. Coming right for me. See you later. See him. Never, ideally. Just one, one lone shroom, and sort of off in this direction is where I believe I saw the other one. What was that? Fern, not needed. Okay, I, I saw there was one off to the right there, and and dead ahead. Uh, so I think I'm gonna do the dead ahead one first. Ooh. Another cave? I actually don't know if this is the same cave, so I kind of have to stick my head in to figure it out. Oh, you get lost. This is not a good time or place for you to get involved. <laughs> You're messing me up, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, I have been there. That's the little teeny one. Funny to funny to stumble across it when there's no mushroom in there alerting me to, to its presence. Wow, that guy really... <laughs> I don't even think they can come for you in the full-sized caves, which is uh, good, because, man, did he ever kind of mess me up there. And I a little bit lost sight of what my, my immediate targets were, so I'm just heading towards the one that I, I now for sure see. And I lost track again. Okay, okay, this is promising. Good, good. Off towards the mountains? Nothing. Just trying to stay sharp. Stay vigilant. I can see others. Another in the direction I need to go anyways. And another way off over there. Towards the... Yeah, towards the tower that I can't do in the demo. Tower. Tower is incorrect. But, you know, the interesting structure there you are I'm gonna go complete this tower ah another another one 11 left that's looking pretty good uh, I, it's also crossing over to a point where I've been playing a little over an hour and I probably got to make a decision do I actually want to try to 100% the demo because it could very easily with as is true of like any collectathon game, that last ten percent could potentially take as long as everything else I've found so far, because they're they're most likely to be the most well hidden and the the least 
openly, easily observable, right? So I'm going to be a little careful with that. I don't want this to go on forever. But this will be a fun another thing that we can knock out. This one generates the pumpkins. And this is one I have done before. I really enjoy this one, actually, because you kind of get this, this popping pumpkin chain reaction thing going. Uh, where once they knock into each other, then they they just start popping other ones as well. It, it's a uh, pump corn, pop popcorn, pump pumpkin. <laughs> there's there's got to be a way. There's got to be a way to make those words fit together, and I'm just I'm missing it. That's it. Now things are really going. <laughs> I, I was thinking like, ah, dang, I'm not getting a good reaction going here, but there it is. It's going way way over the top. And same dealio, there it is. Once you get enough things popped, then it will spawn the blue pumpkin. And there, you would have yet another essence, uh, and another one we don't have any use for in the demo. But So you, you can see why I use minigame loosely. That is what it's like meant to be, but it's simplistic. But it's, it's like supposed to just be a fun little surprising interaction that maybe you weren't expecting and, and can just get a little little grin out of. Just want, want it to be a happy, pleasant experience. I think that lends itself well. Mm, okay, yeah. I was thinking I must be nearing the edge again. So nothing towards the water. Aha! Off in this treed area, though, and and way off in the distance, even further there. There's my one. I will observe. That must have been it. That must have been the only one. And so now I'm making my way to that other platform, knowing there is at least a mushroom off in that direction. I'm kind of hoping now that there's a little bit more to it than that but i'm not seeing a lot of spores all right i i think i've i think i've scoped out minimum two hopefully a few more but we're getting we're getting tight with our discoveries here not a ton more room but i'm i'm getting satisfied the the itch the discovery itch of wanting to keep pushing it and finding more is building, you know? I just want to keep, keep hunting. Snarf, snarf up all them delicious shrooms. Fantastic fungi. Uh, maybe? <laughs> I've seen William over here before? No, but before we left the, uh, the cabin, he mentioned this thing, I think, but I don't think he was here. These temples are interesting, aren't they? The builders must have used the spell of the sea fairy flies. Finding the blue essence you need is the tricky part. This starfish is the only one I wouldn't have, and currently don't have. <laughs> uh, and I know precisely if I just head out to the beach, like around here, that's like absolutely where it would be, uh, but not currently available to me. A couple of them, I think that would be one of them, actually do, oh dang, there's one off that direction, uh, add like special abilities. And so it's not enough to call it like a full-on Metroidvania, but it's potentially a little bit. You, you do have slightly more uh, ability moving around this environment once you have that cleared. I checked off a couple of those specialty relics of this old ancient land. Th this is where things are gonna get iffy for me, because at that point, <laughs> I've really, really pushed, pushed things. I, I've tried my best to really map out the full extent. I'm so near a hundred percenting, but I'm so worried. Oh yes. I'm so worried some of them are going to be just in the most difficult places to find, but I'm not calling it just yet, especially when I'm finding them just like that. Two more for the collection. Good stuff, Sly. Yep, that was that was it. Just a pair of them there. Five left. Come on, that feels doable, doesn't it? You could even help me if you wanted to. Oh, wise spirit of the void. You 
menace. <laughs> oh, and I, I, I've already spotted another one, actually. I'm, I'm trying to use, like, I, I look as far in the distance as I can. And it's mostly paid off. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm just going to drop that off. It's uh, not needed currently. I, I'm moving through things pretty directionless, and I'm, and I'm pretty okay with that. Ah, just one... But the final countdown. Do -do 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 -do. Do -do 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 That's not. It's like that. That is the tune. But I also. I. I. <laughs> I'm instantly aware. My committal was bad, and uh, the end result was not very accurate sounding. <laughs> I'm not gonna try again. Embarrassed enough. So See what you can find. I also just taking a nice little look at Sly here. Try and see what he's thinking. See if we can read into those emerald eyes of his. Hmm. Alright. I think my main goal will be to get up high. Because I'm not finding things very easily. Just roaming the landscape. Peaks and valleys. Here I am, up a tree yet again. <laughs> it's kind of my number one way to try and scope things out. Oh, oh, that's like a million miles away, but am I possibly seeing particles off in the distance there? Trick of the eye, I think. Yeah, wow, okay, I, I think I'm gonna have to really like push the corners. Oh, okay, so I know, I already know. I The, the mountain foot has two and the swamp have two. So, I, I should have been making better use of that. Honestly, knowing that, knowing where I need to concentrate my search efforts, way, way more encouraged. I, I, I am ready to, to give it like a, a pretty solid try. I'm gonna mark things in the general direction I need to head. There it is, I'm already, I'm already seeing one uh, now that I kind of have a bit of a path set for myself. This is, this is good. This is good news. I think I got it. Could be speaking too soon. <laughs> Am I getting getting lost in this forest here? I was just looking at you. Where'd you go, Sparkles? All right, up up in the trees again. <laughs> that, I love that lone tree up in that that peak off to, uh, in the distance there. Oh wait, I hadn't quite gone in deep enough yet. I don't think. Dance, dance forests. Maybe it's uh, coming from just down below? All right, back up again. No, no, it's it's like right there. So let me try and fall in the middle of where I think it's coming from. There we go. <laughs> I, it's actually so satisfying going up to the top. I love... I, Lucas must have some history as an environmentalist or a biologist or, or literally just maybe as an uh, enthusiast, you know, but... I really like that what it to me looks very much like an aspen forest has the density of a young forest and then there's like the old growth coniferous late stage succession forests my own general knowledge as a, a with a undergrad in biology kicks in and I has some familiarity when I'm looking around through some of this so it, it's fun to relive that a, a little bit so there you go, Mountain's Foot is done. Now if we head off to the swamp, let's uh, let's actually go back up in the trees one last time at least. Because I'm guessing as I move towards the swamp, I'm going to lose some of that ability to look at things from up high. But it should be. It should be just off in that direction. Like there are not many many locations over here that I think would qualify as swamp. Maybe I just gotta get a little nearer? Keep pushing it, man. What am I missing? Because now I'm geared up. Two? Two left? I, I'm unstoppable. You gotta let me at it. Let me in there. <laughs> I'll find them. I'll find you all those mushrooms. I won't let you down, William. You've been counting on me for 15 years. <laughs> I haven't lost a step. I'm as great a mushroom hunter as I've ever been. 
I do like, I, I mean, is that a, a the moon, presumably, up in the sky there? It looks beautiful. Uh, mostly I'm just trying to figure out where the heck these two swamp uh, shrooms could be. Ah, aha, a sparkle. <laughs> I see you, glowing orange beacon of discovery. Where are you at? I'm hungry for you. I'm hungry for some shrooms. Come on, it was right there. All right, let, let's get a little distance and uh, and look back and see if we can figure out where that was floating up from. No. How have I lost it? Nope, nope, nope. I, I saw it. I saw you just over the peak. Now, is it coming from under? Is it uh, just nestled somewhere among all these like ridges? Just along the side here. See now, I, I'm I'm struggling. I can't even find find the spores again. How do I keep scoping them out and then losing them? There they are. There, it's coming from under me, isn't it? I swear, I swear, I'm like on top of it. Okay, very rare, very occasionally. Are they floating up? Which makes it more likely to be coming from, like, underground. So I think I have to kind of scope out the perimeter and see if there's a, a cave or an entrance point of some kind. That's my, my current best guess. Oh, snap. Uh, from a distance there. Let, let, me, let me head up a tree. Try to point it out. <laughs> Uh, I believe I see a cave entrance right a uh, whole smack dab in the side of the hill there. So that is absolutely where at least one mushroom is. I'm very excited to have found it. It's so satisfying to scope these things out and, and kind of like work out where they might be eluding you. But then once you're in it, <laughs> now you have the, the trouble of navigating the cave. All right, one and two. The demo is complete, but there's so much more to see. Thank you for playing and please wishlist the game. The world cannot be restored without your help. William and Sly, a complete uh, reboot, sequel, reimagining of the original series. It's kind of all those things all in one coming this spring. We're so excited to, to bring this game to the public. Please go check it out for yourself. We would love to hear your feedback. Any of that can, that can come at this time during the demo period will be greatly appreciated. Please be sure to share it around. People got to remember, millions of people played William and Sly, and we want as many of them as possible to rediscover this series. Thank you all so much for, for checking it out and for, for sharing your fandom for all these years. And I hope to see you again soon.